name is Richie and welcome back to another video. Today you join me on the brand new Long Island Railroad 2.0 to have a first look at this brand new route. Well, I say it's brand new, it's essentially an extension to what we've already had for about five or six years and it's a worthy extension and overhaul because it looks incredible um, from what I've seen in the previous stream and stuff. So yeah, we're going to jump into the M9 and do a service from here at Long Beach and go along the new branch up towards Jamaica to see what this route offers and uh, yeah I think it's going to be a good bit of fun um, it's going to be interesting dealing with the permanently enabled safety systems um, I've seen a few streams and a few videos and it uh, it looks slightly challenging but I think we're going to master them it'll be fine so yeah I'm going to jump into the main menu and have a look what we get on offer um, which is you know it's a considerable upgrade from uh, what we got in the original so yeah let's jump into the main menu and then we'll do a service in the M9 so here we are in the main menu and uh, as I predicted in the what you can expect video I said it will be around about 625 services so I got it bang on there we also get nine scenarios three of which are from the uh, M3 DLC uh, so and I think these are all new scenarios they're not the same as the, uh, the ones we got in the original um, I watched one earlier of the, the something to do with a fire or something which is quite interesting so yeah there's the scenarios if you're interested in them and we get two training modules this time one of which is for the route and the other one is for the safety systems um, I, f I think I'm gonna get the hang of the safety systems quite quickly because pretty much as long as you acknowledge the speed and the signals uh, you'll be fine so let's jump into the timetable 625 services that's mad isn't it We've got 306 for the M9, we've got 287 for the M7, and we've got 32 for the M3. Um, I wanted to test out, do you know that the old locos used to be coupled up to a route and stuff like that? Um, I've uninstalled the old version of Long Island Railroad, uh, but I've kept my M3 installed. So if you uninstall Long Island Railroad, you can still use the M3, which is uh, quite good. All these services as well, they don't sub into one another, so these are all unique services. So it's nice to see that the M9's getting the bulk of it, and the uh, and the M7's still got a fair few services. So yeah, let's jump into the M9 and see what we can run. So I could probably spend all day going through this list, but you can see it does Long Beach services, Atlantic Terminal, um, what's that, that's Jamaica to New York Penn. So it does all sorts of different services, uh, which is quite good to see. And we're going to jump into a Long Beach service and have a look at the branch line, um, the new branch line and see uh, what it all looks like. Right, there we go, train 809 Long Beach to Atlantic Terminal. That's uh, the train we're gonna take, and we're gonna take it as far as Jamaica, just to have a look at the new branch line and look how busy uh, Jamaica is. Right, here we go, we're at Long Beach. Let's get ourselves set up. Um, I think it's similar to the M7, so you put your key in, which is that one. Pop your key in. We've also got the safety systems going mad, which are a little bit quiet. Uh, I think I need to sort out my settings. So I'll do that in a minute after we've set the train up. Um, if you keep it in max brake, uh, this uh, brake gauge charges itself as well, which was uh, it really annoyed me in the old version where you have to keep charging the brakes all the time. Um, but yeah, we can uh, get everything set up. We need to make sure that our lights are on. Where's the lights in this thing? Uh, headlights, there we go. Dim, let's turn them on and turn the marker lights off. Cool, and we should be fine. Have we got PIS? You can set the PIS up on this little screen down here. I'm not too sure how to do it. Right, I can't seem to figure out the PIS, but the PIS does work once we get going. Um, and we've got 10 seconds before we can go. Oh, it works there. Cool. So does it work on the front? Ah, right. Okay, that's fine. I've just messed about with something, so it must it must work. Anyway, I've got it set to miles, not feet, because I don't understand feet. So let's get going and let's have a listen to this wonderful little thing. Beautiful. We're not going to fully hear the traction motors because we are uh, we are subject to a five mile an hour speed limit, and it's a bit of a it's a bit of a long jaunt out of Long Beach. I think up to about here it's five mile an hour, um, and I'm not going to make you watch all that. So I'm just going to go past this five mile an hour, five mile an hour bit, and I will catch up with you as soon as we uh, we get to the uh, bridge. Right, we're here on the bridge. It's just took me about three minutes, three four minutes to get to this point. Um, so. Bit of a boring section, but it's as per reality. And well, now that we're on the bridge, I must admit it's absolutely beautiful. I can also get up to 30 mile an hour as well. Look at this. This scenery is absolutely beautiful. This water texture as well, it's fantastic. Look at that. That's a hell of a shot. Beautiful. 
I've had the uh, the safety systems oh shouting at me a few times and I've been shouted at again that's fine and I think I've just whoops okay fine it is telling me 15 so on here you do need to follow the uh, the low the speed on this column here so as long as you follow that you'll be fine so I need to stick at 15 I can't go any faster than that it says 30 up there at the top top left and it says 30 there ignore them follow this what it says on here and you'll be fine right so it's allowing us up to 30 now awesome stuff I must admit this unit is looking absolutely beautiful it's got a nice blue front and if you know anything about me my favorite color is blue and it looks beautiful it looks much nicer than the m7s um because the m7s have got got that ugly yellow front and i'm not a fan of it um we can get up to 30 and i'm at 24 so yeah as long as you stick at 30 mile an hour you'll be fine we've also got an m7 there hello yeah just on that section then, every time I went up to six mile an hour, it does shout at you, so st make sure you stick at five mile an hour. Right, we're coming up to Island Park, our first calling point for this uh, for this video. We've got a little railroad crossing here. Beautiful. I don't know what the brakes are like on this thing, so I'm gonna put maybe, do you know what? 25-ish percent braking, I think we should be fine. We've got all the way down there to get, how, how many carriages are we? We are two four six okay that's fine so we'll probably stop there that's fine in fact it's telling me in the top left i'm not i don't even know why i'm trying to pay attention to the uh, stopping boards there we go right and if you put it into max brake the safety systems shouldn't go off whilst you stopped so if you're stopped and you want to have a little look around look at the scenery and stuff as long as you put it into max brake you'll be fine we also have new PIS. Let's have a look at this. Ah, oh, incredible. Oh, that's looking so much better than what it was before. Atlantic Terminal, boarding, and we've got all the stations there. Looks so much better than the uh, the old PIS. The PIS that looked like, you know, British PIS. I think there's two versions. There's that one. Oh, it's changed. There's two There's two versions. There's that one. is like a modern sort of like LED screen as well. I think they're at Jamaica. So if I remember, I'll show you them as well. Right. So what we... We're limited to 40, so let's get straight going to 40, and we should be all right. I think I think we'll be fine with the safety systems. They don't seem too difficult. So the next station is Oceanside. Where are we calling at? We're calling at Oceanside, East Rockaway, Centre Avenue, Lynbrook, Valley Stream, Rosedale, Laurenton, Laurelton even. Uh, let me get the... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's fine. Right. Just under a mile and a half to Oceanside. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Yeah. I like the sounds of the, M, uh, the M9 as well. It's very futuristic sounding. Make sure I don't speed. Yeah, so as long as you don't speed, you'll be fine, right? Which is funny because whenever I do streams and videos and stuff, I'm not very good at, like, keeping to speed. So... As long as I keep to speed, I'll be fine, right? There'll be no problems and we'll get to Jamaica in one piece, hopefully. Right, here we go. We're coming into Oceanside now. 50% brakes. I think it sounds good. Um, and we've been all right with the safety system so far. We've been all right. Overspeed? Uh, yep, yeah, because I was I didn't realise that there was a 40. As I say, I was doing good with the safety systems. It shouts at me, right? But I have been doing all right. I just haven't been paying attention to the fact that it was coming down a little bit. Right, we've overshot that just a tiny bit. Oh, do you know what? If anyone's getting off there, easy access to the road, right? No problem at all. So let's have a little look around Oceanside. There's a, a lot of stations to look at in this. So I think we're going to see the majority of the new stations anyway. I think we're going up this way, which is interesting because when I loaded up the service, it said I was going to go via St. Albans. We've got some nice signage here. Bruce. It's what I was called in school because I was a fat kid. So do you know if you've ever seen Matilda, right, you know, Bruce Bogtrotter, um, I was called Bruce because I, I, I was a little fat kid who liked cake. Anyway, can get up to 40, uh, nothing faster than that. And we've got 900, 913 yards to East Rockaway. So these stations come thick and fast. Let's go. Full power. Have a listen to that. Beautiful. It sounds really, really nice, actually. I'm a big fan of them sounds. 
Right, and in the blink of an eye, we're at East Rockaway, so let's slow down just a little bit. I'm finding, I'm, I'm getting myself into a little habit with this, where even though these safety systems aren't going off, every about 30 seconds or so, I just keep pressing circle to make sure it doesn't go off. So that might, might be a good habit to get yourself into. Just hit circle every now and then, because then you're less likely to get the alerter screaming at you. Right, let's get stopped there. I'm assuming that my stopping pattern, my stopping board is at the end of the platform. That's why I keep overshooting on the, uh, if you look at the top left, it keeps saying I go over by 20, 30 yards. So I'm just assuming to go to the end of the platform because that's kind of good practice. Um, but yeah, this is looking really nice. It's a nice little lake here. Are we in max break? No. If we weren't in max break, it'd start going off. I've got a little, little court. You can't quite go underneath there, which is a shame. But the modeling's looking really nice. It's looking like a beautiful route. Oh, there you go, another little bit of a new PIS action there, telling you the station name and the time. The door closing sounds are uh, are interesting. I'm assuming they're uh, they're correct. I don't I don't see no reason why they wouldn't be. Um, and we're also 920 yards away from Centre Avenue, so like I say, these stations are quite close together. Right. The habit I'm finding is that you can go up to as far as like if it's a 40. Don't go to 40, go to 38, 39, you'll be fine. As soon as you hit 40, that that counts as an overspeed. So, good little tip for you there. Right, and we can come in, uh, come into Centre Avenue now. A nice, a nice leisurely stop will be fine, I think. 50% break seems to be a nice, nice place to break, and I'm doing all right. I'm not overshooting massively. Um, you know, assuming that my stopping point is the end of the platform. To be fair, we could keep going. Yeah, we're going to roll a little bit. We've got three seconds. It's fine. Oh, that'll do. That's fine. Cool. Right, put that into max break. Lovely stuff. And this is Centre Avenue. Is is that spelt wrong? Because you Americans like to spell centre wrong. We're, it's it's T-E-R, isn't it, in the States? Over here, it's T-R-E. So I think that's possibly spelt wrong. In fact, let me let me Google it. I'll quickly Google it. In fact, no, I won't. I won't Google it because we've got to, we've got to shoot off in a minute and uh, we'll end up breaking the train. Right, Limbrook in 0.8 miles time. Let's go. And we're at 40, so we can still stick to 40. So watch this now as I speed up. The moment I hit 40, that's when your alert goes mental. So as long as you stick about 39, you'll be fine. I will just practice it for you. I will just show you what it's like so you know. So 39, as soon as it hits 40, watch. There you go. Right, as soon as you hit 40, it will start going mad at you. So just get yourself back down to 30 or something like that, and then you can ca carry on um, applying power. So yeah, just don't hit 40 or whatever the limit is, don't hit that. Just stay beneath it and you'll be fine. Right, all that waffling aside and attempting to uh, speed. Oh, there we go. I'm at 40 now. It's actually been all right with that. I am going to slow down though, so it doesn't shout at us as we're coming towards Limbrook, which I think forms part of the, is it the Babylon branch? This is where a lot of the Babylon services would end, I think. Let's get a little bit of braking, a little bit more braking, I think. Cool. This station looks nice, doesn't it? Interestingly, we've only come across one piece of AI, so I'm guessing, because it's still quite early morning, you don't get that many services. But I think as soon as we get close to Jamaica, we can see a lot of trains. I think I saw something about Jamaica having, in its peak, around 36 trains per hour. That's absolutely nuts. Right, here we go. Lynbrook. This looks like a very nice station. This is going to be quite a busy station. Let's have a look at the PIS. What's next? We've got an Atlantic Terminal train. Um, I think that's our train, actually. So that's... So there's PIS in all the platforms. I'm guessing that trains would call at all the platforms. We can go underneath here to a car park. Beautiful. We can also lock the doors. Uh, I've opened them on the wrong side. Whoops. Right, there we go. And we can get going once more towards Valley Stream. What we uh, what we limited to? 40. Yeah, we're still on 40. That's fine. So it's not going to surprise us and go down to 30 at any point. It will say it at the top there in the track monitor whether we need to slow down or not. So yeah, let's get straight up to 40 mile an hour. Uh, it's a little bit deceiving actually, because it says 60 there, so you keep wanting to go to 60. I'm not actually looking at the hood that much. Oh, 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 I'm going a bit too fast. See, I only, I only just, it's fine. 
It's all right. Chill out. I'm going 30. Yeah, so I only just when it's like I went to 41, and that's when it starts shoot, shouting at you. So just keep it at 38, 39. You'll be fine. Right, here we go. We're coming into Valley Stream now. This is looking like a very nice station. Look at this. Beautiful. Lovely stuff. Right, we can... I'm going to stick it about 40% braking. That seems to be quite a, a nice middle ground for, for stopping. Hey, this is a really nice station. Look at this. Very nice. We've got a little basketball court. Got a car park underneath the station. Oh, oh that's a little bit... Oh dear me. Okay, that's not too cool. The Apparently the bridge is just floating. So that's something that should be reported. That's not too good. Little minor thing to be fixed. That shouldn't be too much of an issue to fix. So, uh, and I can imagine that will get addressed soon enough. Anyway, let's get to Rosedale in 1.7 miles and we are limited to, I can't quite tell, I think 80. Um, the lighting is, uh, is it's not showing what, what limit we've got. So I'm guessing that we're going to go to 80 anyway. We'll soon find out if it's not. And then it's 1.7 miles to Rosedale. Lovely stuff. Right, here we go. This is Rosedale. Let's get ourselves slowed down. A bit more braking because I am coming into the station at 60 mile an hour. Right, let's get stopped. Max brake. Yeah, I'll be fine. That's all right. I have just noticed something else with the safety system. So I have been saying, follow what this says here, this column. But... If that's saying 80, but that little red number is 60, stick to that. Pretty much stick to the lowest speed. And as long as you don't exceed that, you'll be fine. So you have to do, you do need to keep an eye on it. Uh, you can't just assume that it's 80. So in some cases, it will just say 60. What will help is if you look at the track monitor, we've got a 60 coming up and we've got 80 and it will say that we can go 80. But if the limit here is 60, stick to that. Kind of a few things to get your head round, but it's not overly difficult. I mean, I'm quite a simple, simple bloke, so I can get my head round it. I'm pretty sure you can. Um, let's get going to Laurelton, which I think will be our penultimate stop before we've got this one, Locust Manor, and then we'll have Jamaica. So yeah, I'm enjoying this route so far. It's really nice. It's very well detailed. The only thing I've spotted is that there's not much AI traffic, which... They made, made a big song and dance about the timetable, so I'm guessing it's just the wrong time of day. Um, but I'm hoping we see some more AI at some point, because I'd, I'd imagine we'd see quite a bit going on down here. Um, so I'm hoping there's not any red light issues, or maybe it's just the fact that because it's so early in the day, um, we're not seeing anything quite yet. So, you know, as I play this route more and more, you'll see where parts of the route are busiest. So hopefully it's just a case that I've picked the wrong time of day. Uh, we are speeding a little bit as well. It says that we need to be going 60 and I'm going 62. It's not shouting at me though because it is acknowledging the fact that we are we are allowed to go 80, which is fine. So in some cases it will shout to you. We do need to get some break in here because we are coming into Laurelton now. But yeah, I am really enjoying this route actually. It's really nice and it's definitely a worthy upgrade. Once I do the before and after video, after I've done this first look, I'll, you know, get a sense of how busy the route is compared to the uh, to the old version. Because when I recorded the before section, there was nothing between um, Penn and Jamaica. So it will be nice to see, a, you know, a much, uh, a much busier route. Right, now that we've got full speed, I'm going to do a full throttle departure so you can have a listen to the sounds. Let's go. Let's have a listen to this. Beautiful. I've been shouted at here. I'm speeding and we've got a we've got a station. I'm not doing I'm not doing too well. We're we'll alright. It's give us a penalty break, which is fine, because we need to stop anyway. Beautiful. This is Locust Manor, our penultimate stop for this video. Uh, and oh the first overshoot as well. Oh dear. It's alright. We're fine. We're okay. It's alright, it's fine. Let's have a little fly through the inside of the cab. It looks very generic, you know, it's very much a Oh, I've, I've glitched out. Um, it's very much, you know, what do they call them? Um, very similar to the the Harlem Line trains. You know, it's very... They all look the same Metro North trains, don't they? 
they're very much three by two seating and they they all look the same so it's not going to look too different to um to the m7s and stuff um but it looks very nice i love the livery as well i love this blue very striking and i love the aluminium sort of body as well lovely stuff right let's get ourselves get the doors locked and let's get ourselves to jamaica and see how busy it is there um which i don't think it's going to show it show it you know give it full justice because as we're seeing it's not too busy yet but once it gets a bit later on in the day and i can imagine it gets very busy so so yeah anyway next stop is jamaica in 2.8 miles right so we're just a mile outside of jamaica and we are coming up to a 60 now so i'm gonna keep an eye on this because i need to keep uh keep my eye on the ball really right it's shouting at us that's right we're subject to a 70 which i can imagine is going to come down a little bit because we are i think we're going to go down as far as 30 so let's try and concentrate and see what's happening here so we are still subject to a 70 i'm going to keep it at 45 just because i don't fancy it randomly see there you go it's gone down to 40 i knew it would right be fine there we go acknowledge it that's fine so after this 30 here i'm going to assume that we need to get down to uh, to 15 so i'm going to put some braking in because i feel like in a minute it will shout at us again to get down to 15 so i'm going to stick at 15 if if yet yeah, there you go it's all right it's all right cool there we go right we're down to 15 so pretty much if if you can see the next signal is going to be a certain speed just prepare yourself and get yourself to that speed it's pretty much good practice i think this route will definitely help if you learn the route and know where the stopping patterns are and what the uh, the speeds are at certain points here we are we're coming into jamaica now and uh, interestingly there's not really much going on in jamaica which i thought there would have been a lot more that train hasn't moved so i don't know whether there's any issues or anything i don't imagine there is there's one there coming into jamaica now and the actual uh jamaica station hasn't changed all that much but uh the scenery around it has this is new and this is new as well so not much has changed scenery wise uh, apart from the addition of a few buildings uh, and obviously the pis uh there we go so the smart this is the sort of smart looking pis here you can see um it's all led screens and once it changes it has like all the colors of all the different lines and stuff so oh some nice brake sounds them as well aren't they anyway let's get ourselves stopped at jamaica acknowledge that safety system will it accept that although we're 45 yards out no it won't okay right let's keep going a little bit right it'll accept that surely yeah look at all this uh static stock in the uh sidings here so i'm guessing this is all stuff that's going to be coming into the uh into the station there's an awful lot going on there and for the amount of trains here it's not tanking the frame rate as much as i thought it would anyway anyway that was my first look at the brand new long island railroad route I've really enjoyed it. It's it's mainly been getting my head around the safety systems and having a look at the the branch line. Um, the stations are well modelled. The route is looking so much nicer, and uh, we need to get it into max brake. There you go. Um, but yeah, I think it's definitely a worthy overhaul. It's uh, interesting that we've not seen much traffic, but like I say, it's probably something to do with the time of day. So I'm going to do a few more services, see how busy it gets, and I'm going to be live on this route as well. Most probably when you're watching this video, so or after, I probably would have streamed by the time you see this video. But anyway hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoy the route if you choose to pick it up uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this route in the comments below and how you're finding the safety systems it'd be interesting to know what people have got to say about it so yeah with that said thank you very much for watching this video if you've enjoyed it please smash that like button and subscribe if you're new it would be massively appreciated so yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll hopefully see you all in the next video Bye bye